Madonna may not have found fame and fortune quite as early in life as some singing superstars, but she certainly wrote the book on how to hang on to them. Since topping the US album charts with Like a Virgin at the age of 26, her genius for perpetual reinvention has propelled her to the top of the Guinness World Records list as the most successful female recording artist of all time. Not bad for a small town dance college graduate who arrived in New York with $35 in her pocket. Her enduring success seems even more phenomenal in light of her confession that she really only got into singing because of the limited career potential offered by her first love, dancing. But while her fit body and impressive moves played a large part in getting her noticed as a singer, it was Madonna's uncanny ability to set trends that really sealed her star status. Every time she needs to reinvent herself, she manages to do it, um, from the sexy kind of symbolism that she brings with her clothing to this more sophisticated glamour now. Um, I mean, she's, she's ever-changing. First, it was the tutus, little lace gloves and wayfarer glasses. By the 90s, she graduated to dyeing her hair blonde, bigger muscles and Jean-Paul Gaultier. Probably her most iconic clothing moment is the conical bra, the flesh tone with the um, black wide leg pants. Ten years later, after becoming a mother and converting to Kabbalah, she'd completely changed her image again. I just have a, a serious fascination with the world of geisha right now and it's got nothing to do with my daughter. Refusing to relinquish her hold on the public consciousness, she was still stripping down to her leotard and busting serious moves in the videos to her confessions on a dance floor album nearly a decade later. I just think people were shocked to see um, a 47-year-old woman that had such an amazing figure. Um, but I think, you go girl, you're amazing. Now in her 50s and still pumping out the tours and albums, the queen of pop has no regrets. I get a bit freaked out by some of my hairstyles and a few outfits, uh, some hideous photographs, I don't know, things like that. Maybe a few guys I dated, but nothing too big, right? Well, the same regrets we all have.